Are you ready to discover the biggest secret in lawn care that professionals use for a lush green lawn? A few weeks ago, I did a very similar video to this. However, I left out one crucial piece of advice. In this video, I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to go through everything you need from start to finish, including all the products and where to buy them. Let's go. What about you? And welcome back. Before we begin, let's get the grass cut. What I'm going to talk about today, I'm going to let you into a greenkeeper's secret. A couple of weeks ago, we did a video on how to fertilise your lawn with liquid feeds, and I showed you how to work out the calculations. And everybody said to me, Robbie, that's very good, but we still don't know what products to use. Well, in today's video, I'm going to break it all down, and I'm going to show you a tip. Now, I picked this tip up from a visit. I was recently at one of Ireland's best golf courses called Ballylifting Golf Links up in Donegal. And the greenkeeper up there told me a secret what he uses on his greens and that's what we're going to that's what i'm going to teach you today let's get on with it welcome into the workshop before we begin just going to switch on the lights now if you're watching this and you're wondering who this video is for it's actually for people that want a nice green lawn and by the end of this video you'll understand a lot more about fertilizers hopefully and how to work out the right calculations to do it but also the products that you need to use. I did a video similar to this a few weeks ago and I showed people how to use liquid fertilizers. But what all you guys said to me in the comments was, Robbie, that's very good, but we don't know what products to buy. So in this video, we're gonna go through it all and I'm gonna show you the products that we're gonna use. At the Golf Links, they use a really simple program and we're gonna go through it step by step. Not only is this really cheap, whenever I go through the prices, you're going to understand how cheap it is. If you're looking after a lot of space in the professionals, they need to be doing it for the right money. And there's no reason why we can't do it for the same sort of money too. So I'm going to give away some pretty good trade secrets here. At the links, in the summer, they use sulfate of iron, sulfate of ammonia, and the other magic ingredient, seaweed. And in the winter, they use iron and they use seaweed. Today, we're going to do, I'm going to show you how you can use their summer mix. The sulphate of iron, the sulphate of ammonia, and the seaweed. Not only is it really cheap, it also gives a really nice green up, and it's easy to do. This is the product we're going to be using here. This is known as technical grade sulphate of ammonia. You're not going to find a product like this on Amazon. However, I do have a link to buy we can get it below. It's a non-affiliated link. So look, I'd really appreciate it in return. If you're finding this video helpful, if you can leave me a comment down below and always smash that like button. To work out how much sulfate of ammonia we need, it's actually very easy whenever you get your head around it. A bag of sulfate of ammonia weighs 25 kilos and it treats one hectare. One hectare equals 10,000 square meters. I'm going to leave these sums down in the video description and you can go and read up them if you want. A bag treats 10,000 square meters. If we take our 10,000 square meters and we divide it by our kilos, which is 25 kilos for the bag, that gives us a grams per meter of 2.5 grams per square meter. And then if you take that figure and if you multiply it by the size of your lawn, to work out the water rate, it's the same principle. A bag needs 600 liters of water per hectare. If we take or 600 litres and we divide it by 10,000, which is our hectare rate, gives us 0.06 litres per square metre. The next product I'm going to talk about is our old friend, sulphate of iron. Usually we put on the sulphate of iron at a much higher rate. For this here, we're going to go on at a low rate. To have a look at the application rate for our iron, so we are just looking to green the grass and it's one to two grams per meter square just to green the grass. That's what we're after. We're not looking to harden or blacken the lawn. We're just looking to go in at the lower rate so you'll be able to take your calculations from that. Some of the other things you're going to need for this is a pair of gloves. That stuff's not good for your hands, neither is the iron. A pair of safety glasses or a pair of goggles and you need a set of scales to weigh the products. 
if you've been buying your fertilizer in a bottle this sort of size, then this price might shock you a little. Now, I know there's a cost of living crisis going on, so this one's definitely going to help. Remember, this is an insider trade secret as such that most fertilizer companies won't be that happy with me telling you how to do it. But anyway, assuming this bag costs £60 or thereabouts, including VAT, then to treat 100 square meters, it's going to cost 60p. And assuming that the iron, that the sulfate of iron, costs round about £5, then it's going to cost a pound per, square, per 100 square meters to treat. So to treat your lawn with the sulfate of iron and the sulfate of ammonia for 100 square meters, it comes in at a grand total of £1.60. And then if you add in your seaweed. So you're going to have to, whatever seaweed you buy, just use these calculations or follow the calculations on the bottle to add the amount of seaweed you need into the jar. Now, let's go and put it on the lawn. The mix that I'm showing you today is fantastic to use coming into the autumn as well. However, there's a couple of things that you need to consider. Sulfate of ammonia is 21% nitrogen, and that's fantastic for through the summer because it's going to make the lawn lovely and green because it's got that high nitrogen content. As you come into autumn, you want to drop that number down. The easiest way to do that is just to put in less of the sulfate of ammonia. If you half the amount, then you're only putting in half the amount of ammonia. And what you can do then is increase the iron so as you're getting the turf hardening or the blackening of the moss. Before we apply this on our lawn, there's three key things to consider. Like any fertilizer, don't apply it in drought conditions if it's really warm or in frosty weather. One of the most important things whenever you're spraying is to make sure that you're putting out a nice even pattern. We always use posts. These are electric fence posts. You don't need to use these. If you didn't have anything like this, you could do something as simple as a plump pot and just put it down evenly across your lawn. A little pro tip for you. After you finish putting the fertilizer onto your lawn, there's a very good chance you're going to have some left over in your sprayer. What you want to do is go over your lawn in the same direction. So if you've gone up and down your lawn, you want to carry on putting it out on a nice even pattern up and down your lawn. Don't go left to right or right to left. As if you go on a checkerboard pattern, then you risk putting darker stripes in, in your lawn and you'll not get that nice even pattern across the lawn. If you want to learn more about liquid lawn feeds, watch this video next where I discuss those calculations in more detail.